In this video, we're going to do another hybrid method showing balancing redox reactions. And this is going to be our equation down here. It looks like I'm blocking that so you can't see it. So we'll scroll up to find it. I think this will be pretty good. Okay, again, we have our rules for finding these things. So you're going to have to look through those. Um, I got a lot of oxygens, but I don't think they're changing. It's pretty rare that you get like hydrogen peroxide and H2O2 or sodium peroxide. So oxygen is almost always going to be minus two. Let's look at what we got here. Seven times two is minus, seven times negative two is minus 14. So I'm going to say two times plus six gives me plus 12. Seven times negative two gives me negative 14. That's going to add up to be negative two. So each chromium is plus six, or both chromiums combined is plus 12, but each chromium is plus six, okay? And this chromium is plus three. So, and that means that chromium is going to be the one that's reduced. It's going from a higher to a lower charge. It's going to be gaining electrons. Carbon's not so easy to figure out. I'm gonna start with this one. If oxygen's minus two, and there's two of them, it's gonna be minus four carbon has to be plus four. In this case, hydrogens are all plus one. So there's six of them and six would be plus six, but there's an oxygen there, take away two. So it's gonna be plus four. So, I'm sorry, so I gotta still balance out plus four. So I'm gonna have two carbons each at minus two to balance out there. So two carbons at minus two each gives me minus four and oxygen at minus two gives me minus six. And then we got six hydrogens at plus six, that balances out to be neutral. So all in all, this carbon is minus two, this carbon is plus four. So if I look at what's oxidized, I'm gonna say this whole thing, looks like methanol would be, or I'm sorry, ethanol would be going from C2H5OH to CO2. And how many electrons are lost? Well, the first thing you have to do is be careful. There's a technical rule here. You have to balance, you have to put a two in front of this CO2. Why? Because you have two carbons here, you have to put a two there. It's going back up to our rules, balance the elements that is oxidized or reduced before going to the electrons. So you gotta make sure that the element is balanced and you're talking about the same number each time. All right, so that's why I snuck this two in there and that's sometimes people forget to do that. Okay, now I'm going from minus two to plus four for each one. Well, minus two to plus four is a movement of six electrons, but since there's two of them, it's gonna be 12 electrons lost in this process, in this oxidation process. Okay, let's go the other way. Cr2O7 minus two going to Cr plus three. Again, I have a two there, so I have to balance it putting a two in front right here. Now notice, um, you're going from plus six to plus three, so that's a movement of three electrons, but times two would be six electrons. Well, it's a movement of six electrons. This one has 12 electrons, so I'm going to double this to make sure um, that the total number of electrons is 12 on each side. So that means I'm going to double everything in this equation, and this one becomes a two. This thing two now becomes a four, and that gives me 12 electrons. So essentially two times two is four chromiums at plus six are going to four chromiums at plus three. That would be a movement of 12 electrons. The electrons given off have to equal the electrons gained to make this thing work. Okay, again, if I weren't doing it in both acidic and basic, I could go right up this equation and start putting these coefficients in. Notice I do a little bit of work. I got the two in front of the CO2. I got the four in front here and I got a two in front here or as I dropped it down here, you can see that two, one, two, four ratio. So I gotta carry those coefficients from my redox thing. Um, just a second, I'll be right back. Isaac's not here and he'll be back probably in about a half hour. Okay. Okay, so yeah, thanks. Yeah. Sorry about that. Okay, so the next thing is, is I'm looking at this reaction under acidic conditions. So I write this out. I look at two times minus two is minus four. And then I got neutral, neutral, and then I got four times three is plus 12. So in other words, I have plus 12 here, minus four here. 
I need 16 more positives on this side to balance it out. Under acidic conditions, you just add H plus. So I had 16 H plus here. When I do that, notice I can't just add waters based on oxygen or hydrogen. I got to look at things a little bit and say, oh, I got some oxygens in here and hydrogens in here. So I say 16 hydrogens, but I got six hydrogens here already. So that gives me like 22 hydrogens in total. No hydrogens here. So 11 times two would be 22 hydrogens. So that balances out. And by doing that, the oxygen should balance out on its own. Let's see if that works. 11 oxygens, two times two is four oxygens, which is 15 oxygens. One oxygen here, two times seven is 14, 15 oxygens over here. So it looks like everything's balanced out, but recheck that to make sure. Okay, what if I were doing that under basic conditions? Again, I get through my half reactions. I know what numbers go in front of the coefficients. So I get the two, one, two, four right there. And we said this had, what, plus 12 here, and this had minus four here. So there's a difference of 16. And instead of putting 16 H plus over here, when we do it in basic conditions, we had the 16 OH minus over here. So instead of adding 16 H pluses to one side, we take away 16 OH minus this from the other side and that will balance things out. So when I do that, I got and I got to look at it and I could either look at oxygens or hydrogens. Let's say I look at hydrogens, I say, oh, there's 16 hydrogens here. There's already six right here. So I need to have 10 more hydrogens in order to get this to work. So if I put five H2Os, I got 10 hydrogens plus six would be 16 hydrogens, which match up with these 16 hydrogens. And then what that gives me is hopefully the oxygens work out here. I got five oxygens. I have 14 oxygens for a total of 19 oxygens. Okay, plus one more would make 20 oxygens. And here I got four oxygens plus 16 oxygen, which makes 20 oxygens. So all the elements balance, the charges balance, and I do have an overall balanced equation. Again, a lot of times you would have to go to completion with this, but you can know coefficients in front by really the main principle is the electrons lost by one thing equals the electrons gained by the other thing. And that's the real big deal with the redox reactions. And you'll see that quite often. Thank you.